Hey, video editing class. Welcome to JTC340 slash my home and the unfinished part of it. But hey, we'll be in the Clark building in the basement next week, uh, which is where I've spent a lot of my time in the last few years. But hey, I'm really excited to be back there. Uh, I teach this class online as well, so I'm used to the whole online thing. Uh, but it's, I think it's way more fun to do in person. So I'm super excited to see you guys. And this is probably one of the few times you'll actually see my entire face this semester. Uh, you'll see this much of it, and I'll see that much of yours as well, which is a bit of a bummer, but hey, I will absolutely take that. Um, we're doing this all semester. I love teaching in person. That's a fun part of this as well. So yes, once per week, uh, you should have already got that announcement and know when you are coming. It should be during the time that you signed up for. So just once per week though, and then the rest will be remote work. And since I teach the online classes, pretty set up for it. There's not really a lot of uh, lecture videos that you'll be assigned, but there will be tutorial videos and homework and things like that to make up for that content. So, Today, I'm going to be doing a little lecture video, probably the only one that you'll have to watch this semester in this style, unless you have some excused absences and that type of thing. But I'm going to go over the slides. I know that these can drag on sometimes, so I'm going to try to keep as brief as I can, but I need to get you this necessary information uh, before we go in person next week. So without further ado, let's get into the PowerPoint lecture content. Okay, so I didn't introduce myself. I'm Jesse Grace. I'm going to be your instructor for this class, but you probably figured that out already. I uh, will also have Matt joining me for some of the classes. He'll be helping with grading and some teaching stuff. He is the graduate teaching assistant for the class, and you'll get to meet, meet him next week. Okay, let's get into it. So COVID stuff. Um, so COVID reporter, that is replaced with like mandatory like check-in thing every morning. So um, see the syllabus there. Basically, if you're experiencing symptoms or you tested positive, you've been exposed, all those things, uh, there's a link in the syllabus and on the homepage for that info that you need to fill in before you come to campus. Uh, because they'll likely tell you not to. So make sure you're doing that. And hopefully for most of the semester, you'll be in person with me. So same rules as going to the grocery store, wear a mask over a nose and mouth. Yes, your nose is attached to your lungs. So I will be enforcing the coverage of your nose this semester. Six feet apart, desks are set up that way. Um, con eating cloths, you can take a quick sip of some water or drink uh, and wipe down stuff. So there are wipes as you enter all the classrooms. So just come in and wipe down your stuff before you sit down, mouse, keyboard, all those good things. Big thing, attendance is expected. Actually, it's required, you know, you need to be there. You've signed up for a class with a face-to-face -face component. I'm going to be there, you need to be there too. The only reason that you shouldn't is if obviously, you know, if you have an excuse absence, family emergencies, all those things, or if you have been exposed to COVID and you're reporting that in the symptom reporter, the symptom reporter, the COVID checker, or you have COVID or whatever. Um, so that is, um, you know, obviously an excuse absence, absence. If you're sick, if you have some, like any kind of sick symptoms, obviously I don't, um, you shouldn't be in class and you shouldn't be in public. But uh, otherwise, I expect you to be there. It is an in-person class. You are not going to do well. I saw, if you don't show up, I saw so many people fall off the face of the earth lost the end of last semester and just stopped coming in person. And, you know, best case scenario, they dropped an entire letter grade. I mean, that's best case scenario. Or they failed the class because they stopped showing up. So if you are unable to be there, communicate with me. You know, um, let me know what's going on. I'm not scary. I know I sound like kind of harsh about this right now, but it is for your own good. If you're having issues, I can't help you if I don't know about them. So please, please, please let me know if you're having problems or if you can't show up or you're missing or whatever it is. Um, that's my biggest policy, communication. Uh, so, uh, no switching labs. Also, if you, um, you know, if there's a week where, hey, you have something that you comes up during class, you can't be there, maybe you can make the Thursday or your opposite, the Tuesday section or something like that, you let me know ahead of time and maybe able to switch you um, and let me know, but I, you can't just switch as you feel like it uh, because I've got the numbers set up so that we don't have too many in the same room. And we have enough computers for everybody. 
So, overview. <laughs> what is this class about? So this is a production elective in the GMC department, but there's a lot of non-majors who take the class too. It's one of the more popular production electives. Um, at least I believe so. <laughs> anyway, you're here. So let's get into it. Um, you're basically combining video, audio, graphics. You know what videos are, but maybe what you don't know is that the best editing is invisible. You're gonna be tempted to throw transitions and these crazy things into your videos, but we're gonna start by keeping it simple. Yes, those have a place in video production, but honestly, think about it. When you walk out of a movie that you had a great time and you're done watching a show or whatever it is, you're not thinking about the editing. You're so wrapped up in the story. And that means that the editor did a good job. So that's what we're gonna strive for is invisible editing. Um, you know, and original storytellers, at the end of the day, that's like I just said, you want people to focus on your story all videos are about stories and I'll keep it short right now because I'm going to say this pretty much every day for the rest of the semester. So um, we'll get into that more now. You know, uh, this is not a software class. Obviously, I've got tons of tutorial videos that you're going to have to watch on Premiere Pro. I'm there as your software support person as well during class, but this is not a software class. That would be a waste of your money. Uh, because you know you could go to into another job that has some different software. So uh, here we're going to be learning about video editing techniques and storytelling for news, PR, ad education, ads, education, music videos, film, entertainment skills that you can take into any genre and use on any software. So that's going to be more valuable as opposed to a premiere class. There's courses online for that. Uh, we're going to do so much more. That is just the tool that we're going to use. Like a hammer doesn't build a roof, but you can use it to build a roof. So think of it that way. Um, yeah, moving on. Format. So, um, you know, lecture lab is smushed together. Unfortunately, with COVID, you don't get near as much lab time. So you're going to need to work on that. Um, in your own time. So uh, just be aware of that. Unfortunately, it's just one of the things, but hey, at least we get to be in person for some of it and you can troubleshoot uh, with me. Okay, so the footage is provided for our class. Uh, you may have the choice to like shoot some things towards the end of the semester, but editing is going to be extremely challenging, even with somebody else's footage. There's so much to learn as well with shooting footage. So with what we figured out in the department is that people tend to be video better video producers if they learn how to edit first learn from other people's footage and then go on to learn those skills that go into shooting video as well it makes them better shooters it's a better video um editors so that is the process that we're doing here uh, and I guarantee it will still be very challenging. You will not underestimate editing after this class. And if you've already started editing and this is not your first time, then uh, you know already. So um, you'll have about five in-class activities, four larger projects. Um, so four, five smaller projects, four larger ones. Um, there will be possibly some quizzes and homework on lecture content. Um, oh. Just kidding. This part of the slide is inaccurate. Um, now this is what we're going to call editing on the fly. Okay, that's how it was at the start of last semester, but it works way better as um, two hours once per week. Okay, that's some on the fly editing, friends. Um, okay, there we go. Two hours once per week. Now it's accurate. Okay. Moving on, so those class projects, these are all in the syllabus, so I'm gonna kind of skip over those right now. I might introduce them as we go, but that is what you are in for at the moment. We cover lots of different topics. All right, class materials, what do you need? So uh, the software is optional because we have in the lab all these uh, computers that you can use. So um, obviously I said you're not gonna have a ton of time in class to do editing, but there are homework labs as well in Clark. Um, the hours are posted on the homepage of the Canvas course, so you can do that. However, most people choose to get the software on their personal computer. Make sure you're getting the student package. Uh, it is a year commitment, but you'll likely use it beyond this class, but it's only $20 for all the suite. Don't just get Premiere Pro for $20 because if you get the student discount, you can get the whole suite and we'll need to use Audition and other things as well. Um, just make sure your computer can handle it. You don't wanna sign up for 
you know, be committed for $20 a month for the rest of the year if you are don't have a computer that can handle it. So make sure you check the minimum specs on the UW website, check the specs for your computer, uh, make sure it can handle it. Or you can get the free trial and see how it handles it. Um, but if, yeah, it's gonna be a bummer if your computer crashes all the time and you can't afford to upgrade your computer. So that's why we have those labs for you available as an option to use. Last year they were available when we weren't remote, so I'm believing that they will be available again, um, but we will definitely work with you as well. So Premiere's not backwards compatible. Uh, we'll talk about that in the uh, lab in person next week, but it's basically if you have an older version of Premiere and start your project on a new version and switch to an old version, sometimes we have issues in the lab if the computers haven't been updated there. But hopefully that won't be a problem. We'll deal with it as it comes. Uh, so yeah, like I said, see Canvas for those open labs. Hard drive, that'll be provided. So Merry Christmas. When you show up next week, I'll give you some stuff. Uh, that'll be to store all the footage on. That'll be yours to keep. Always bring headphones, but don't not show up if you forgot them. Just show up. Um, but yeah, headphones. I'm not around my neck right now. Um, so that tends to not be a problem because this is the 21st century and everybody just has headphones with them at all times. So um, keep it there. LinkedIn Learning, required stuff, um, but I will be providing you with CLOS, uh, an account to access there. So look out for that invitation. I'm gonna get those out this week. We're changing some things in the LinkedIn Learning system, but basically those are some awesome tutorial videos that are gonna get you assimilated and um, get you using the software. Okay, Closh rules, no phones, um, no laptops, no computers during lecture or demo. Take physical notes, like on a piece of paper. You're gonna retain it better and then you're not gonna be distracted working. Do not edit while I am talking, please. Please don't edit while I'm talking. I'll give you time to edit. Um, that's one of my pet peeves. Uh, so don't be working on stuff while I'm teaching. Uh, okay, be on time. Sure, just show up, please. <laughs> Take good notes. Um, there'll be some quizzes and things. It'll help you retain stuff. Be present physically, mentally as much as possible. We all have bad days and you'll see some days that, you know, like we're not all mentally there. It happens to me as well, but be mentally as well as physically present as much as you can. You're gonna get more out of the class. I mean, you're literally paying to be there. Um, so not showing up is like, you know, paying for constant tickets and not going. So just be there and be present. Uh, participate. I'm going to make you talk. I know these make you feel muted, the masks and things, but um, yeah, this is a discussion. It makes it a way more enjoyable class. And no naps allowed. Don't ask me why that is now in this slideshow, but it's a small room. Okay. There's only a few of us. We're having a chat. So um, yeah, no naps allowed. Bring some coffee. Uh, policies, don't steal other people's videos or written work or scripts or anything. Um, that's bad, you'll fail and could get worse. Could get university discipline too. So don't do that, it's not worth the paperwork. Late projects, yes, one minute is late. So 10% off per day, like I said before, show up. You're literally paying show up. I'm gonna make it as um, interesting as I can and hopefully gonna learn a lot too. So. I mean, honestly, like, I don't really have, you know, um, like, point solve for attendance and things like this. It's pretty much self-enforcing. Like, the content builds on itself. If you miss a class and it's unexcused, um, you're just going to fall behind and you're going to do terribly on the next project. Uh, we just moved too quickly. So show up if you can't. Again, let me know. I have systems in place so that if you don't show up, I can make accommodations for you and make sure that you're staying on track and get you the content you need. But uh, it's, it's a lot of extra work for me to keep students on track with things. And I'm totally willing to do it if you have an excused reason for not being there, um, that I'm not gonna do it because you just didn't feel like showing up. So, you know, if you have a documented reason, I'm all for it, I'm here to support you. Um, I'm willing to work with you. Uh, just, you know, respect my time and I'll respect yours. Uh, yeah, to can't help if I don't know. So uh, yeah, and if you do have those symptoms or anything, please don't come to class, that'd be bad. 
Resources. Um, CSU has tons of resources. You can start by talking to me if you're having any issues and you need, um, you know, counseling or you need to be a health center or things like that. You know, there's a U at CSU site, which kind of lists the uh, resources at CSU. Check that out if you need anything. Um, disability services, those types of things. Let me know if you have accommodations. If you do have accommodations, it is your job to let me know what they are and to make sure that I'm giving you the stuff that you need because, you know, obviously I'm keeping track of a lot of students and I'm here to help you. I just need to know what help you need. Uh, so yeah, uh, other resources on the syllabus as well. So read that thing. Uh, almost final thoughts. Uh, I love memes. Uh, uh, so this is not an easy A class. Uh, it's also going to ruin movies and videos and you're not going to be able to watch TV shows with your friends as much because they're going to be like, please stop talking and telling us about the editing of this. But uh, it's great, you know, I always have students come back and say that, oh my gosh, I can't watch anything the same again, but it's a good price to pay and hopefully maybe you want to do a career out of this or maybe it'll be a small part of your career, maybe it's just your hobby. Um, but it, it's fun. It's a good time. Share what you find if you cool find some cool videos and stuff, well, let me know. If you want to learn some stuff, let me know. Um, we'll talk more about intros in person. Uh, this, <laughs> editing is time consuming. Um, you know, it's going to take a lot of hours outside of class. It is more than you think. So brace yourself for that. Uh, but it's okay. It's fun. Uh, I find the software intuitive. I mean, this is kind of what I do for a living, but I know a lot of people struggle with it. Um, and that's okay. Everybody's brain works differently. Um, so some people are good at different things. That's how the world works. So I'm here to support you. If you have questions, ask, if you're struggling, ask. I try to be very clear and give you instructions both in person and on Canvas. So uh, yeah, pop me an email, talk to me in person. Let me know what I can do and come see me in my office if I'm there. Obviously there are a lot less. I'm willing to do appointments. Once you have to do six feet away, we can do an outside meeting or Zoom meetings and things like that. Matt will also be um, available to help with things, uh, but we can set stuff up to meet outside of class. Okay homework and stuff. Um, so uh, get your accommodations to me if you have any of those. Read the syllabus. I didn't cover everything in here, so do that. Um, look at the edit lab next week. You know, there are the lab schedules on the home page, so figure out where those are by the software. That's part of your homework. Turn on push notifications if you haven't already. You can get texts when your instructors send you announcements. And with COVID stuff and everything changing so often, I highly recommend it. I mean, it might blow up your phone, but at least you'll know what's going on. Um, not required to follow CSU JMC on Insta and Twitter and Facebook, but it is there and you get to learn about cool things in the department, like any events, career days, what faculty are doing, what students are doing, uh, scholarships, that type of thing. And yeah, consume differently. So I'm actually going to um, give you some other things. Um, so I want you to start playing with the software. I'm also going to give you some the link to the footage to start downloading that. Um, and we're going to have a quiz on this video. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you can tell that I haven't been lecturing in, it's only been like a month and a half and I don't want my excuses, I'm just clumsy. Uh, I'll knock my water bottle over multiple times during every lecture during class. Anyway, back to the point. So um, yes, it's going to be quiz on this lecture. Nothing crazy. Uh, just to make sure you did it. And I'm going to send you the LinkedIn learning stuff by the end of the week. Uh, and uh, consume differently. Start watching videos and contemplating like how they were edited. How would you edit that? What did you like? What did you not like? Uh, all those things. And I am really excited to do this in person. So I'll see you next week. Pop me an email if you have any questions or a Canvas mail. I'm here to support you. So happy quizzing, editing, and I will see you in a few.